What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. It's Saturday, which means we got brand new Ultimate Legends in the game. We're going to show you those cards, show you how to get them, and also give you an update on house rules. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you were searching around YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it before we get into the ultimate legend content i do want to talk about house rules i mentioned this in yesterday's video and i think even thursday's video as well but i'm still getting this question a lot whether it's on twitter on twitch people still seem to be confused about the current house rules that is going on right now so i figure the more i mention it the more the word spreads here and the more people are informed if you are getting an error it's saying it's not available if you're trying to play house rules you have to have a tier six theme team if you read the description here under theme team throw down it says requires tier six 30 plus theme team to enter uh, x factors are also always going to be on so what does that mean well let me go ahead and show you over to my lineup basically you have to have 30 of the same team chemistry on your squad and that excludes legends team team now i'm not 100 percent sure if they've changed that at this point that i'm making the video but last i knew legend theme teams were not able to get into it which is terrible right because i do understand if you got a theme team a legend theme team uh reworking your entire squad to be able to play the house rules is not going to be worth it the reward that you get which is a 99 overall lester hayes is really good but we're going to talk about that in a moment as well um but basically to check your team chemistry you're going to go to your lineup you're going to go over to chemistry and as you can see here we have tier six philadelphia eagles on my no money spent squad so we have 30 eagles on there and you got to think about cards like rob gronkowski and ken stabler some of the free cards there's a bunch of cards out there that get any team chem free agent cards also, the cards that are within this field pass for this promo, the Theme Team Remix promo, so like James Cook, Glover Quinn, those 97 overalls that you get for free, they also get all team chems. You can always go to mutt.gg slash theme teams or just go to mutt.gg uh, and then click theme teams at the top and that'll show you every theme team and all of the cards that you can go out there to get to try to build one to get into this house rules. But the big problem with this, not only the restriction for the theme team, and I actually like it. Like I like these special lineup creation uh, restrictions on house rules. I think it would add a little bit more uh, value to the gameplay and, and differences and rock like if they did a you gotta you can only use all nfc teams you can only use all afc teams you can only use this that or the third like you know players that are 95 overall or under i think adding things like that into house rules would keep the game mode fresh for next year of course they probably won't do it this year but it takes way too long to level up through this house rules so just to give you an example and listen i'm not the greatest player in the world but i'm pretty decent at the game just to get to level one which is the easiest level to achieve it only takes 500 house rule score i think i went like seven and oh i won my first seven games and that got me to level one, which I still kind of feel like that's a little bit too much. You should probably get to level one maybe after five games. And you do get points for winning, so you also get points for what they say big plays. I had a game where I had a 99-yard touchdown, and it maybe gave me 10 more points than a normal game does so i don't know what big plays means and you do get points just simply for playing but there's players out there that are less skilled and i can only imagine how long it's going to take them to level up through this reward path if they're not winning as many games as me and again i'm not the greatest player in the world but even going 7-0 and in my first seven games didn't breeze through over to the first level so imagine you go five and five or seven and six like imagine how many games you have to play just to get to level one and then after that you need like 2000 house rule score to get from level one to two two to three three to four four to five and five to six eventually you do get this 99 overall t theme team remix lester hayes and it's a fantastic card it gets any of the 32 nfl team chems the joke here is that it also gets legends team chem but you can't use a legends theme team in the house rules that you need to play to earn him so i'm hoping that ea addresses these things I did send out a message to them saying, listen, uh, people have done the math. It's going to take about 110 to 130 wins, wins, not games, but wins 
just to max out this this is ridiculous i know it's a three week event but at the end of the day it's the month of may it is a good reward card but this is way too much grind for the content that you get along with it so hopefully they change it and if they do there is a method out there where you can get unlimited rewards but it's just not worth it so i'm not even really going to go over it in a video if they change the leveling up process the scoring process within this house rules i will make a separate video on it because at that point it will be worth it right now it's not uh, but i did just want to give you that update on the house rules and everything that's going along with it let's talk about this week's ultimate legends if you guys missed the reveals on twitter last night let's go over them the offensive set legend is going to be eagles legend mike dicka 97 stock speed 90 run block mid route running 98 short 99 catch catch and traffic spec catch all very good looks like a really solid card i'll definitely be picking him up to add him to my eagles steam team for sure even though we just got dallas goddard two days ago on defense this looks like a really good one middle linebackers don't my, uh, matter too much but Ray Nitschke, 98 speed middle linebacker. I'm pretty sure he's 6'3 or 6'4. 98 zone, 99 hit power, 99 block shed, 95 tackle. Like, he's a great user. He's going to be great as an AI control defense uh, pass defender. He's going to be a great run stopper, and he's super fast and tall. Uh, this card's pretty good. Now, is it worth, like, your free Ultimate Legend token pick? Probably not, but it's a pretty good-looking card. Um, LTDs are both pretty good as well here. The first one is going to be Warren Sapp, the best of the two, 90 speed defensive tackle, block shed and power move, both at 99, finesse move 97, strength 98, tackle 96, acceleration and play rec also both at 97. And on offense, we have wide receiver Cliff Branch, 99 stock speed, deep and mid route running 98, short 99, catch 99, catch and traffic, spec catch both 97, really good slot receiver. Here are all of the zero AP discounted abilities you get on these cards so for mike dicka you can go red zone threat short and elite is very good route tech is very good all on a tight end on the other side on defense ray nitschke definitely want to go with lurker for the zero ap if you're going to be using him if you're going to use ray nitschke as more of a run stopper and and let the ai control him more often than not you can skip the zero ap lurker and go with secure tackler that would be good against the aka running backs out there for the ltds uh cliff branch being that he's a slight receiver i'd probably recommend going short and elite if you're going to play him on the outside you can go short out elite or deep out elite for zero ap but i think he's just suited better as a slot wide receiver and then warren sap typically on defensive tackles you're going to want to go inside stuff that's going to help against the run game inside zones halfback dives things of that nature you can also take a look at tackle supreme which again is going to be very good like secure tackler with ray nitschke uh, under pressure run stopper solid but with only one zero ap option inside stuff's probably going to be the move there of course we have another weekend of ultimate legend solo challenges that you should certainly be playing through and if we scroll all the way down we're up to week number 14 I do get this question a lot, so we might as well answer it here again. Uh, Ultimate Legends likely will last into the late parts of July, maybe mid-July, so we sh still should have several more weeks of these. And the reason you want to know that and want to be playing through these is because you want these Ultimate Legend loyalty tokens, which can in turn earn you up to two free Ultimate Legends that are non b and and they're your choice. You can pick any of them that you want as long as they're not an LTD. So you got the Mike Ditka solos, you got Ray Nitschke. Each solo that you beat, you're gonna earn one of those Ultimate Legend tokens, so you can get six tokens from beating these six solos. Also beating those same six solos are gonna unlock a hidden seven solo, which you would find at the bottom of this list. And if you read the overview, once you beat that hidden solo, you're either going to get your choice of a 93 overall from the LTDs from this week or five more of those Ultimate Legend loyalty tokens. I recommend taking the tokens here because those are going to be turned in for a free Ultimate Legend. So the more tokens, the better. Also, you earn stars for every solo that you beat. And if you look at the milestone rewards after the tier one reward, which is an 87 plus overall Ultimate Legend player pack, you get more tokens. So you want to make sure you're knocking out those milestone rewards because you're going to to get tokens from the milestone rewards here you're going to get them from beating the solos and from the hidden solo and that's going to repeat each and every week some uh, weeks have more solos than others but the, the you know the concept the format of these is all going to be the same each and every week and these solos tend to not take too much time there's a lot of them to play but normally you can get through each solo within like i would say 90 seconds to maybe three minutes at most if you go over to your ultimate legend sets within item sets this is where you can use those tokens i would save them 
all the way up till you get to that 125 mark so you can get a free ultimate legend of your choice there's so many good options out there right now uh at the end of the promo when there's no more coming out if you have leftover tokens then these sets would be best used at that point but you really should save them up for the free ultimate legend uh let's go ahead and take a look at this week's cards it's going to break down the same as it's been uh, for the last four or five weeks here now for Ray Nitschke and Mike Dicka. You're going to build out these cards with one player specific 97. So for Mike Dicka, you would need his specific 97 overall and then any other out of position 97. Not just any 97, but an out of position 97. So you put those two cards in there combined with 393 overalls and 489 overalls from any other week. That will get you the 99 overall Mike Dicka. Also in return by completing the set, you're going to get a loyalty token. So I tell you guys this every week if you're new here a great option to try to earn free tokens is looking to build out these sets for cheaper than it costs to buy the card outright which means if you can build the set right and then sell the card you get a token for free and by selling the card even after tax you can sometimes make your coin back so it's a wash sometimes you can even make coins the weekend is a great opportunity and the market certainly has crashed over the last i'd say 48 to 72 hours the weekend is a great opportunity to snipe the individual pieces and it doesn't have to be for the new ultimate legends it can be 98s and 97 overalls but the weekend is always a great opportunity to get out get out there and get the cards for a lot cheaper to build the set get the free token and then sell the card and recoup your coins we finish up the video with pack offers and ea actually did something to benefit us the players now they really should think about maybe dropping the price on the tvp i wouldn't waste any training on this this pack is totally dead in my opinion for the remainder of the year unless they address the price on it but going back to the ultimate legend pack offers they lowered the cost on the coin pack so this is another pack uh, or another way that you can earn loyalty tokens i believe it used to be like 65k maybe even more it's down to 44,000 coins for the ultimate legend pack so that's a small w it's you know there's so many other things that i would love to see fixed or just be better in the game at this point in the year but 44k for ultimate legend packs uh you do get a loyalty token every single time you open up one of these and they're limited to 10 per weekend so next saturday if you open up all 10 today or this weekend and next Saturday they should and I say should with an asterisk they should refresh and allow you to open 10 more so this is another way that you know you're not going to get it for free but it's another way to earn those loyalty tokens so completing sets playing through your solos getting the milestone rewards and also opening up packs and even the money offer packs sometimes will give you tokens in return but I don't want you guys spending your money on this game at this point in the year especially with these ultimate legends they're not even close to good enough to justify spending a single dollar on any of these packs but if you want to open up the coin packs you got a couple million to spend maybe it's worth your time maybe it's not save your coins for rookie premieres though because that's going to be the best promo to get a head start in madden 24 if you're low on coins right now thank you guys for tuning in to another video we got one more coming up later this afternoon my name is popular stranger i'm out peace